Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia quick tip. Uh, yep, yeah, a patron sent me the question uh, if I could show how or if we can do this in Cinema 4D as well. So this is done in Twitter from uh, I think 811 or from Chiba Akito. I don't, don't know now, but uh, that, uh, yeah. I want to show you how you can do something like this. It's, it, it, of course, it's possible in Cinema 4D as well. So, uh, let's do this. What we need is two cubes, of course. So, but I, instead of a cube, I prefer the platonic here. And the, my platonic is set to uh, hexa, you see. And here in the platonic, I can easily change the segments. That's the reason I prefer the this one instead of the cube. So let's make here about 15. And then we need a second platonic. This we will uh, subtract later. Here I take less, so, okay. And the second one I drag somewhere here. And now we use a simple pool here. So let's make a pool, Whoop. and I drag both of them into the pool. You see we have uh, cut out this second platonic, but I don't want to see in something inside, so I go to the pool and say instead of subtract, A without B. So we have this now. Good so far. And of course here we can change this, this is probably what we want. But we want this uh, displacement on the sides here. Okay, I put the pool in the null, so I can work with displacement on the whole pool. Under the null, I bring in a displacer. I hold my shift key to so select the null, hold my shift key, and so the displacer becomes a child of the null and works on the pool now. Uh, here we need, of course, a shading, and I bring in some noise here, let's bring this up here, bup, 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 noise, and yeah, you see it works, but it works, let's, let's make it great bigger and go to world, let's say 200 or so, and we want more displacement, so make it here. but yeah, of course I don't want it everywhere, I want it just on the uh, cut it edges here. I'll make this a little bigger again, 300. So this is quite easy to do. For what we need is a vertex map here. Uh, so let's first, for the vertex map we have to make our, uh, our objects op uh, editable. So we need vertices of course, uh, we need geometry. So I select both of the platonics and hit C on the keyboard. Now we can go in polygon mode, or you can we can go in point mode. Doesn't matter in which one. And on this first one, I want a vertex map. So I select here the polygon mode, or as I said, you can go in point mode as well. So then I get to select and set vertex weight. Zero is totally okay here. You see everything becomes red and. Now I want to have just a vertex map, 100% on our edges. So we go to the, our vertex map and say we want to use fields. Now in the fields I delete the freeze, I don't need the freeze. And simply drag in the fields the platonic which I have biting out here. So, so oops, I pulled out. Yeah, you see, okay, this doesn't look good because we are set is two points so we could go up here but if we go here to surface get a much nicer thing here but it's calculates long with surface but both works you can go in point mode and give this platonic more points before you do this uh, you can this platonic you can with us you can uh, subdivide it Okay, so it helps me more points, but it, it's okay for our tutorial here. So. 
maybe so if this is okay as well. We will see. So, and now in the displacer, we still have the displacement on our whole board object. But when I go to the displacer, you see we have here fields as well. I go to my fields and drag in the vertex map here. And now I have only a displacement where my vertex map is. And to make this a little funnier, let's go to the displacement, shading, and give this a little animation speed here. To give us more frames here. And hit play. And you see, everything plays here. And here, here on surface, when I go to points, it works smoother, it works better. It's on you how you want it, so... Okay, and now still we, we are working here, so we can do, do whatever we want. We can bring this in a subdivision surface, so that we have a nicer thing here, so... Okay. Bring the whole Nile in a subdivision surface. Make here two, so... N A to hide the lines and we have our thing here and that's fine of course we can make this displacement bigger and we can make the noise bigger so but now we have this and of course we want to uh, maybe we want to do a texture this as well so this is no problem I show you the uh, physically rendered so that is, or the standard render thing and in Octane it's uh, exactly the same you make a composite material and uh, in the composite material make a, a luminance material and a normal material so, so the ghost or something else and as mask you use the vertex map and here let's make a normal and bring in it. No, not the layer mask. I need the Fresnel here. Go to the electric. Make this. Stop this for the moment here. Make this black here. And in the luminance, I want my uh, vertex map here. So I go to the effects. And the vertex map is all the way down here. So I have to go to my other monitor for a second. Bring in the vertex map in the effects and all the way down you will find the vertex map. You see here now we have the vertex map. Open it and just drag in our vertex map. So that should work when we put this on our pool. You see we have white where we have the luminance can go here to uh, multiply and make this even brighter, 200 or something. Else. But uh, it's because we had we have a very uh, low uh, resolution on the tube, so so we get this ugly thing here. But now we can again use this with surface. This should look a little better than. You see, it looks definitely better. Let's go further down here, so something like that. And whoops, whoops. But we can still, let's go here to 100 for a moment. We can still smooth this out a little bit. And so I'll show you how. I simply, here I have, my, I have here my vertex map. I simply copy my vertex map here, control on the keyboard and drag it to the side. Okay, I have the second one. I named this map soft. You can name it however you want, of course. I delete everything what it's in. And instead of here, now I drag the other, the not so soft map, vertex map in here. You see already it does something and here I go to S to average 
you see it makes a very smooth thing so now I go down with my thing and I have a very smooth Okay, on this, on this uh, very low resolution it does not work so good, but it should do something. Yeah, of course, here we see nothing because we still have the normal vertex mapping. So let's take the soft vertex mapping. And you see that it does something. Go to this one, make the resolution a little smaller. Okay. I can go to this one. Make this average a little softer. Uh, and so on. So you can play with this uh, as long as you want. But uh, of course, when you do this for your render, you should give your cubes or whatever object you have more, more polygons, more segments. Then you get a very, very nice and smooth result here. Oops, this is too far here. Let's go down. Something like that. Here the same. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we need more resolution on the other cube. This is too less. But anyway, this is now a uh, But to see if it works, just hit play. We have everything, and this one, if we, oh, come on, if we drag this one around, this works. And as I said, we, if we give this more resolution, we get a nicer. Uh, we can try it, why not? We get a nice uh, stop it here back and here I bring back the lines with NB bring away the subdivision so you see this is a very small resolution but with UI uh, with US we can uh, subdivide this got US and maybe another US so now you see we get a very smooth transition here NA Right, this, this looks of course much better now. We don't even need here a, a subdivision surface. If yes, let's go maybe to one. So, of course, when I hit play now, this this works much slower, but it still it still works. Uh, we see, it still work everything. Okay, this is the way how you can do something like this. I hope you like this and yeah, the next tutorial will come somewhere during the weekend. And I wish you already a wonderful weekend and yeah, have a wonderful time. All the best here from Austria, Vienna and yeah, tschüss und baba.